Hello guys, welcome to Online Comfy School. So in this video, we're going to talk about the top eight big news from Apple Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC in 2021. Apple Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, is an information technology conference held by Apple every year. Due to the COVID-19 safety restrictions, WWDC 2021 has been presented online. The event is usually used to showcase new software and technologies in the Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, Watch OS, and TV OS, as well as other Apple software. Attendees can participate in hands-on labs with Apple engineers and attend in high depth session covering a wide variety of topics. The first ever WWDC was held in 1983 with the introduction of Apple Basics. But it wasn't until 2002 that Apple started using the conference as a major launchpad for new products. So you can watch the full conference on the description below. And here are our top eight big news from Apple WWDC 2021. Number one on iOS. At the heart of iPhone is iOS. Apple new release is iOS 15. On staying connected with iOS, Apple introduced new features for FaceTime like special audio, voice isolation technologies to help prioritize your voice for video with portrait mode and by putting the focus on you. A new great feature is FaceTime links. You can generate a link for a FaceTime call and share it anywhere, like messages, emails, WhatsApp. And it is not just for Apple devices that can use a FaceTime link to join a call. You can also invite friends from Android and Windows devices. Wow, I never thought we could see that uh, from, from Apple, integrating Apple devices with Android devices on FaceTime. Thumbs up and nice job, Apple. Another great feature is SharePlay. SharePlay is a new feature for sharing experiences on a FaceTime call. With SharePlay, you can listen to music, watch movies, TV shows, and, and in real time with your friends. And also SharePlay can help you share your screen. So you can listen to music together, watch movies and stream together on Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO Max, and so much more. Another good feature in iOS 15 is live text. Let's say you just finished a meeting with a team and you want to capture your notes on the whiteboard. Now you can just point the camera at the whiteboard and with an indicator, you can get the text right out and drag and copy the text. And you can switch over, pass the text and send it by email, for example. So with this feature, you can select text from a photo with the option to look up. You can even zoom on a phone number and with the live text, you can tap it and give that place a phone call. Live text also understands several languages and work across iPhone, iPad, and the Mac, of course. Next, with the Apple Wallet app. The idea of Apple is to replace your physical wallet. And with Apple Pay, you can make safe and secure payments. You can never leave home without your keys. So Apple is continuing to add keys into Apple Wallet, like your car keys, to unlock and improve your driving experience. No need to take your iPhone out of your pocket or out of your bag. Apple is partnering with car makers like BMW to integrate Apple Wallet technologies starting this year. So with iOS 15, Apple is bringing keys to your everyday places to wallet, starting with your house, apartment, and where you work by adding your corporate badge in wallet. And where you travel, 
with hotel keys you can automatically receive your key when your room is ready even before you arrive at the hotel starting this year hyatt hotels will start rolling out this technology to over 1000 properties worldwide creating a good experience for their guests apple is also bringing id cards to wallets you will just scan your driver's license or state id and participate in u.s states and you are ready to go and your id info will be in the wallet encrypted and safely stored with the same technology that makes apple pay safe and secure and the tsa is working to enable airport security checkpoints as one of the first places you can use your digital id next on apple maps apple maps is a great app to navigate the world apple maps is now available in the us uk ireland canada spain portugal italy and australia maps have a lot of details like elevation road colors and labels night mode crosswalks bike lanes and a lot more when driving on highways maps can now render overlapping complex interchanges in 3d space making it much easier to see traffic conditions and to know which lane you need to be in and this driving experience will be also integrated to carplay this year number two on ipad os ipad is a great device and the ipad experience is powered now by ipad os 15 and to make it easier to get all your apps you can now use the app library with ipad on translate in just one year translate has already helped users make billions of translation on ios now translate can be used on ipad as well you can also practice handwriting in another language with apple pencil or translate right next to your document with split view another feature is auto translate auto translate detects when you are speaking and detect also the language you are speaking with and no one needs to tap a button to respond just speak and let translate do the rest you can even translate a text in a photo with live text on swift playgrounds Swift Playground is a great way to learn to code with a series of Apple design lessons plans that are interactive and fun. Now you can build apps on your iPad by using Swift UI. And you are, if you are new to app development, there is a guide to creating your first app. This is amazing. You can build apps for iPhone and iPad by just using your iPad. This will take iPad to the new places. Number three on privacy. As you might know, Apple is very big on privacy. When you use the internet and apps today, you can be tracked by a complex ecosystem of data brokers and ad tech firms and often without your permission. On the mail app and Safari, Apple is introducing privacy protection. This will hide your IP address so senders can't link it to your online activity or find your location. Apple is also introducing the app privacy report. This will give you an overview on how apps treat your privacy. You can also see all the third party domains the app is contacting. And on Siri, Siri is being used on over 600 million devices each month and siri have a great improvement on device speech recognition and on icloud plus this new feature combines everything you love about icloud and helps protect your privacy online icloud plus also includes built-in support for homekit secure video more and more of us are using security cameras to keep an eye on our homes and with iCloud Plus, you can connect unlimited cameras. And you will still get everything else, including photos, backup, and iCloud Drive. Number four on health. Apple is collaborating with medical experts to accelerate 
health innovations. A critical part in taking care of yourself is monitoring changes in your health. With mobility, your iPhone can capture your mobility movements and data as you walk and with scientifically validated metrics. And the new feature is called walking steadiness. This will help you get insight if your fall risk increases and then you can take action earlier to improve your steadiness. On lab results, in the US alone, 14 billion clinical laboratory tests are performed each year. The Apple Health app now includes detailed descriptions to help you better understand your lab data. For example, when you receive a cholesterol result, you can now see that LDL is bad cholesterol and having too much may put you at risk for heart disease. Another feature is trends. This will help to better understand your health, including steps, resting heart rate, blood glucose, sleeps, and much more. You can also share information from the health app with your doctor. With health sharing, you can also share and monitor family members' data using the health app like your parents and children. Number five on Watch OS 8. Apple Watch is an essential health companion. With the Sleep app, you can track your sleep time, heart rate, and blood oxygen. Apple Watch also tracks your respiratory rate and measures how many breaths you take per minute. Watch OS 8 includes workout features like Tai Chi and Pilates and a lot more. On smart home technologies, with Apple New Home key feature, simply type your iPhone or Apple Watch to securely unlock your front door. Inside your home, you can ask Siri or HomePod Mini to play something on Apple TV completely hands-free. And with SharePlay, you can watch TV with your friends at the same time. All right, guys, on Mac OS, the new release is Mac OS Montreal. All the new features work great on the Mac. First time, SharePlay and more. Apple also created a new way of working across your devices, iPhone, iPad, and Mac with continuity. This feature is called Universal Control. With Universal Control, you can use a single mouse and keyboard to move between your Mac, iPad, and iMac. Number eight on developer technologies. With object capture feature, you can create 3D experience on Mac OS. Object capture uses photogrammetry to turn a series of 2D images into 3D objects. You can take a photos of objects with your iPhone then import them into Cinema 4D to create a 3D model. And with Swift programming language, you can easily create great apps. And the App Store, the App Store now has more than 600 million weekly visitors in 175 countries and regions worldwide, making it a great business opportunity for all developers. And Apple has now paid over 230 billion US dollars to developers since the App Store launch. All right, guys, that is for this video on Apple Worldwide Developers Conference WWDC 2021. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and all your dreams will come true. Assuming your dream is to watch more videos like this one. Stay well and bye-bye.